Uganda. Situated in equatorial East Africa, Uganda is a beautiful country rich in lush natural resources. Economic opportunities are plenty here, but much of the nation's population suffers from lack of infrastructure, vulnerability to disease, and widespread poverty. This is especially the case in rural and remote areas. It is in this context that Music for Life Africa attempts to make positive changes in the lives of young Ugandans. Uh, my name is, uh, as I said, Sirunjo Rogers Katende. Um, coordinating the Moria project in Uganda and managing it. Uh, when I was young, I used to love music. I love music so much and I wanted to be a musician. I tried to write my own songs. I tried, but uh, due to uh, lack of resources, lack of support from mm -hmm. family and relatives, and I couldn't make it. And I couldn't go ahead with my career. So I feel like I have much to give, and that's music. I, I see the future of music, the importance of music to the world. And I felt like I could start up something that the young generation can put up. The dreams that I had that I couldn't really put up can come up through the young generation. It's going to be a long term. Uh, project that's going to help uh, the new generation with their talents from music they can also raise money in one way or the other to support their education music can bring the joy music can bring happiness but music can also bring in money and or bring in income to the families in one way or the other it's commonly in Uganda on weddings, graduation parties, and other functions. Introduction parties, the traditional one, they normally want young children to perform for them. So we hope we have a market for this. And given that we have the resources and the center where we can really have these talents activated, we are very sure we can raise some money by ourselves in a long-term way support their education many of them come from uh, poor families some come from uh, single mothers single fathers commonly in africa this happens and there are so many ways they would like to get money but they are limited because they don't have resources so with this center much is going to happen we shall have also a library on this center whereby these youngsters also can be helped with their education um, in terms of reading, helping a child in Mulia means helping a family at home because they really need help. If at least in a family you can help a child through Music for Life Africa, then you're helping the whole family. To ensure the success of Music for Life, Roger tapped into his network and gathered a number of people who were willing to volunteer for the project. Let's take a little time to get to know these volunteers and what they do for Music for Life. So, good morning, good afternoon. Hey. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us your name? Um, my name is Tina Stevie. And you are a volunteer for Mundia. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been a volunteer for Mundia? Started since by the time it started up in the foundation. So about, it's about uh, three years. Three or four years. Three, four years. Something. Yeah. Okay. And can you tell us about your particular role, your responsibilities? Uh, meanwhile, uh, I'm heading the department of instruments. Sometimes I do part of this work and driver. My position around the music is basically uh, doing instruments, organizing 
extra means praying them, make sure that they are in good conditions, uh, training still, uh, training the kids, and giving them basics of what we are doing. Okay. Yeah. So drumming skills. Drumming skills. Okay. And yeah. maybe coming up with songs Some, or music. Yeah, composing songs. Yeah. Awesome. Can you tell us your name? Uh, my name is Lenyunja Noel. Noel. Yeah. Okay. My role is basically to sing the general activities. Uh, we sit together, we brainstorm, we see how to implement what is bad, what to, you know, try to look for ways of getting funds. And another thing, as I, I've told you, that I, I hate the school. Can you tell us your name? My name is Chiza Gloria. How long have you been involved with Mulia? Um, it's now the fourth year. I've been there from the start. Since the beginning? Yes. Okay. What do you do exactly with Mulia? I connect the children and the parents. Mm -hmm. When we have performances, I do go to the parents and inform them. Mm -hmm. And I go to them and get their kids, and I have to take them back to their respective homes. Okay. So, can you tell us your name? Uh, my name is um, Paul Ntare. And how long have you been involved with Mulia? It's now four years. Four years? Since the very beginning? Yes. Okay. Uh, with Mulia, I do some administrative part. Okay. And then I also do the agriculture and public project. Okay. Now that we've gotten to know the Music for Life volunteers, let's learn a little about how the program benefits the kids who are involved. But as for kids, you know, they, like, they have motivated them. And uh, right now, you know, if you meet a, a Muria kid and you compare him with another kid in the community who have not joined the Muria, you can see the difference. Mm. They no longer fear people, they can communicate. It has nurtured their talents. So, yeah. And they have exposed so many things as we move around. Mm. Most of them, we have grown up with them. We knew how they were before joining mm. and how they are now. Mm. Because even here, you can call a Muria kid and you interview him without feeling ashamed or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kids who are involved, they benefit in the many ways. Uh, one of that, uh, they they have built up their skills because we get these kids from different communities. We try to nurture their talents. We find them that they have many, but they have not discovered what they are. But at least Murat has tried to discover their talents, and now they are okay. Like in Irene. Yes. For me, I see that Irene. She's a young girl, but she can dance. She can sing. When she joined Muri, I didn't know that she can do it. But now she can. And Olivia, she didn't know. But now she can. Even me. Yes, I didn't know, but now I can do it. like for you when you're performing in front of those people? I don't, for me I don't feel shy. I feel good to, to stand in front of the people, like to dance when I'm there um, and many people are there. How do you believe that Mulia benefits the kids who are involved? One of the things that the, the Mulia kids benefit is that now they are exposure mm -hmm. 
yeah even this socialization i i know a kid cannot be abused and they keep quiet as before you know our like the girls you see them they open up now they say anything but you know before these girls could be abused and they keep quiet we have a library they can read books we are also having the, the dance itself they are trained they can do marvelous things you know so that those all, all those are benefits i think some of the kids didn't know that they could perform. Mm. Some of them didn't know that they could sing, they could dance. But now it's like we discovered their talents and now we are helping them, promoting their talents. And they've got exposure because at our last concert, they performed with one of the great artists in Uganda. Because mm -hmm. if they perform with such artists, it also motivates them. They see more possibilities. Of becoming great people in mm -hmm. the music industry of Uganda. Mm -hmm. um, and what about internally? How is it benefiting them? How do you see? Most of them, when they came, they left the self esteem. Mm -hmm. They weren't social, but now they have got the self confidence. Mm -hmm. They are confident. Do you feel like you have? more self-confidence? Yes. I feel it. And do you feel it when you interact with other people? Do you feel like you are more comfortable and you're able to express, express. yourself? Yes. And as they're among peers, do you think that enhances that even more? Like they're more comfortable, they're, they're becoming who they actually are. Yes, because most of them, they are in the same age brackets. Mm. So when they get involved with their fellow peers, it also motivates them. Because mm -hmm. they are now free. They are used to each other. Mm -hmm. When I'm in Moria with my friends, I feel free and how I be at home. So you feel like maybe you're more yourself yes. when you're at the Friend. training with your friends at the rehearsals? Yes. Okay. And before you did not have a, have a, a method to experience that? Yes. In addition to helping the marginalized youth of Uganda to discover their talents in music, dance, and voice, Music for Life offers a number of outreach programs to empower these kids as well as their families in other ways. The first of these programs is designed to empower the mothers of kids in Music for Life by helping them develop their business skills. Let's learn about it. What is it like to live in deep poverty? And what would it take to end poverty in our lifetimes? People don't want handouts or pity. They want the opportunity to support their families with dignity. We believe in teaching women basic business skills, income generation, and most importantly, the belief in oneself. Every woman has within her a spark of purpose, possibility, and pride. And we know that increasing women's income and self-sufficiency is the only truly sustainable solution. It reduces domestic violence, puts children in schools, and lifts entire families out of poverty. Families like Teopistas. When Teopistas' siblings all died from AIDS, she was left with the responsibility of raising 13 children. Women like Teopista see transformational results.
era buli bwe mpulira anti abasu ti business bajja mfuba nyo wachirinde ke byonna ngende mbelewo nyongero funa magezi amalala Tio Pisto was trained by street business school partner to a Kembe development organization the street business brings in a sustainable concept where someone realizes the solutions around themselves they can start something they are supposed to do something for themselves to come out of poverty Street Business School is a comprehensive, world-class training program that helps women transform their lives. We've trained thousands of women to open sustainable small businesses, and we're not stopping there. To end severe poverty in our lifetimes, we are sharing Street Business School's proven program with other organizations, training them to amplify their mission and impact by helping the people they serve increase their incomes. Street Business School is spreading like wildfire, igniting the potential of women worldwide on our way to reaching 1 million women by 2027. Uh, we had a training with the Street Business School. Mm -hmm. Then we were taught how to teach the women to come up and make money. Mm -hmm to strengthen, to educate the women, to get involved in income generating projects. Mm. Uh, so people, whenever they think about business, they think about bigger, bigger things. Mm -hmm. But we believe in businesses. You begin small and then grow. I'm a trainer uh, at Mulia mm. with the street business school. I hate the, the street business school. But I have to be the role model. Mm. As you've seen my business, I've seen, yes. yeah, I, be, I began small. Whenever I talk about business, a person talks about capital. Teach them how to get the capital. How can one get capital? Uh, supposing like well, these uh, rural women, we are farmers. Yeah, so maybe you can sell your pumpkins and can sell your matoke or cassava then begin. So there are many ways of looking for capital. You can get a friend and tell her or him that you have a project you want to begin. So, you know, somebody can have a push because accessing even uh, loans for women is very difficult. Mm. People want mortgage. They want security, which the women don't have. And most of the here, uh, men, men are so dominant with what is produced in the gardens. Like, for example, if you pick coffee, the man wants to get the money. And how they spend it, it's none of your business. Mm -hmm. And women work a lot. They toil a lot. You pick the coffee, you organize, you sun dry. But when it comes to marketing, a woman is always left behind. Mm -hmm. they, they don't know how even the expenditure, how, how even the income is in the home. So this has uh, brought uh, a lot of domestic violence mm. because the, a person in a home, you begin arguing from something small, you know, concerning finances and then this uh, domestic violence. But in the street business, now we come up with these women also to handle some money. The other outreach programs offered by Music for Life also incorporate aspects of one of Uganda's main economic activities, agriculture. These programs are designed to benefit the Music for Life kids, as well as their families. Let's learn about these programs. And can you tell us more about the poultry program? Yeah, the poultry program, uh, we kicked it last year and 17 of our kids received a pear, a hen and a cock, and uh, currently we, we, we expect to, to add more and let other student kids get. We, our goal is to make sure that every kid in Mulia can have a pear. Uh, it is a source of an egg, you can get an egg to eat, and then when the chicks grow, they produce the chicks, and then you can sell some of them to buy some materials that you might need or a pocket money at school. Okay. So as Mulia, that was our intention. Let these kids have something, a small generation income at home. Uh, and then now uh, in Mulia, we also have a, a gardening program. 
we make small gardens, like when we collect up our vegetables, our fruits, we can go to one market and then maybe see what has come out of which individuals garden. Then they can share that money and maybe try to, to nurture them to a ba banking culture. Yes, slowly, slowly, however small it is, so that they can know how to save. Gardens? Yeah. Even I have a garden at home, and I dig, I plant my own things, mm -hmm. like beans, maize, and egg yolk, and others. Yes, there are many. Brown nuts. Yes. Okay. And I feel happy when I have my own garden. Um, what do you think is the long-term potential of Mumia? Mumia? I think it's going to be there forever. Do you think it will grow or stay the same or change okay. in any way? It's, it's going to grow because mm -hmm. now for this is the fourth year, I'm seeing some great improvements because mm -hmm. now we started on our center and I think if we get the center, we are going to even grow more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe even more kids involved? Yes. In terms of performances, do you think they'll start expanding? The performances, mm. it's very good because now f the last concert we had, the performance was great. Mm. So I'm seeing that there's improvement in everything we are doing. Okay. And maybe even the tour, the tours can begin, maybe they'll go beyond Uganda. Um, actually, I'm hoping to have our kids going from, far from Uganda. Mm. And I, the first place I, I, I'm thinking of is Canada. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think we are going to perform there in time from now. Wow. Yeah. That would be excellent. <laughs>